It happened shortly after my first special on CBS aired and did very, very well. Fred Silverman was the head of programming at CBS. And he said to me, if, if you're ever, if you're gonna leave Metro Media or uh, anything like that, um, he said, I don't want you to take another job. He said, because I'm gonna put a new show on CBS in the morning and I would like for you to be my arts and entertainment editor. All I know is, is that there were a lot of rumors going around at that time that something else was happening. And I was very surprised. Uh, Fred Silverman was the name, named the head of programming for the American Broadcasting Company, and he left CBS and uh, I had a couple of friends who were very close to him, and they, he said, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna start this new show or whatever? And, and he said, yes, and he said, are you gonna, gonna use Rona Barrett? And he said, yes, tell her just to sit still for a little while longer, and, um, and I'll be back. And, Sure enough, I got a phone call from, I don't remember if it was my lawyer or, or someone else, a producer, and uh, said, um, uh, Fred wants to, um, Fred wants you to become his arts and entertainment editor at, on, on a new show called Good Morning America. And then they called me in and then they were talking about who they could get for the lead, what they, call, meant what they called the people who spoke who were going to spin the wheel. All they were supposed to do was to do the lead-ins to the new people, and it was going to be all the things that I had talked to you about, about what do people want to listen to or read when they had a newspaper. And there would be a sports section. There would be an investigative journalism. There'd be a, a column about Washington. There'd be Rona and entertainment, and uh, there'd be the hard news and, and interviews then in between. And that was the basic premise of this new show, which he was going to put on CBS. And so um, he said, do you have any ideas for, um, for, for the lead, uh, you know, for, for the anchor of the show and, and a female anchor of the show? And I said, well, who are you thinking about? And one of the names they mentioned was David Hartman. And I had just done, I don't know, some kind of talk show or some kind of show with David Hartman. And I thought he was very smart and very sharp. And I said, you know, he might really turn out to be a better communicator that way than he maybe even as an actor. And I said, you should try him. I mean, at least go and talk to him about it. And sure enough, it was David that they finally took. They were thinking about Richard Dawson, the late Richard Dawson. They were thinking about um, uh, several other uh, other people. But um, Fred, I think, really wanted uh, an actor who had uh, a different kind of an appeal. And David turned out to be that person. And so. Uh, he was hired, and uh, Nancy Dussault was hired. And Nancy was, of course, a Broadway actress and singer and charming. And poor Nancy, I always felt she got, you know, short shrifted. Uh, they never found the time to groom her into the role that they really wanted. They just almost left her out there. And uh, she was kind of lost. I don't think she'd ever really done an interview before. And this was not her world, but she was, a, you know, a, a sweet, darling girl and somebody you'd like to wake up with in the morning or something like that. Uh, but um, her career didn't last as, as, as long as I think she would have liked it to. And I was always saying to the producer, I said, you got to teach her what she has to do. She's got to learn. And I says, nobody's teaching her. 
and uh, and anyway, they didn't really give her the shot that she should have had. And, but Nancy and I have uh, still remained, you know, kind of uh, chums and friends. So uh, whenever I see her, uh, yeah, like old home week. Uh, so Nancy was hired, and then right after Nancy, they brought in Sandy Hill, who was a local CBS girl. I believe it was CBS. Sandy was on KCBS. And Sandy was really terrific. And, um, and then some people, I guess, didn't find Sandy warm enough for them in the morning. I, who knows? How do you measure warmth? How do you measure anything like that? But, you know, nobody ever wants to take blame. So they're looking for the next guy to blame. So it was research whose fault that was, and it was so-and-so's fault though that was. And you asked me a question about how did you find out about the business and what it was really all about by watching things like this happen.